Jackson Peter Ryan winning and winning big. They're the world's number one and two. And Michael Van Geer wants to get back in the winner's circle, but has been dealt the hardest draw possible for him in this event in the opening round. The experienced Darius Labanowskis, who is just improving every year. Labanowskis, so world number 39. His aim was to be in the top 32 in the world after the World Championship. 68. Got every opportunity of doing just that. Yeah, he's defending the quarterfinal at the Worlds. Oh, this man, Michael Van Geeren, who put paid to Darius Labanowski's run just in the two years ago at the World Championship in the quarterfinals. Lavanowski's best run in a PDC major. We'll be seeing him on our screens a lot more in majors, I feel. Provisionally qualified for the World Grand Prix. And we'll be at the Players' Championship finals. Yeah, five sets to two, it was. At the Alley Pally. We've got it. Lavanowski's performance in the World Cup last week. He almost pretty much single handedly put Wales out. Maybe should have done. His partner Barowski's got a bit nervy, but it was some performance from Lavanowski's. He defeated Johnny Clayton in the singles rubber. Almost clinched the pairs as well. But finds himself 1 0 down here. Hold the throw for Michael Van Gerwen. Early days, but steady start. Come on, Michael. 100. Well, Michael Van Gerwen, 39th appearance in a World Series event. Was he played in the very first and won the very first 60. in Dubai? Can you believe eight and a half years ago in May 2013? Michael Van Gerwen. And out of those 39 he's played, he's won 15 of them. That's some record. Yeah, great return. And the reason he missed a few as well was Nine the his first child. Understandable, but. Advert for the sport, Michael Van Gerwen. Great in victory and defeat. I think he's always very gracious. And his World Cup woes continued last, last week. Still no real impact for the Dutch since Raymond van Barneveld has left the World Cup team. Got a few different partners now, Michael. What a meaner, Van Dyven Boda, Nopper. 100. It's a good first start. Oh, Jermaine, but not no success for the Netherlands, but. Albanowskis took this out against Johnny Clayton last week. I'm in the pairs and. He's done it again hey, here, and there's the hold of the arm. Not as long as it normally is, but down to Labanowski. Good start from both. 98. Yeah, 1 1 6 finish from Labanowski. Beat Van Gerwen the last time they played. All three TV matches, though. Have been won by Van Gogh at the Ali Pali, the Players' Championship, and the European Championship. Just having a, a, a look back earlier today, Mark. 60. 29th of November last year, Players' Championship finals. Live, of course, on ITV at the Rico Arena. And he beat Mervyn King in the final, didn't he? Dramatic circumstances, 11 10. Since then, 21, 21 events, tournaments, 59. majors, European events, players' championship, 21 without the tournament win. And if you if you looked at that spell for any other player, you'd see some semi, some runner-ups, some quarter-finals in, you'd say fair play, but a good year. But Michael Van Gerwen set his own standards, and if he's not winning events, he's not meeting those standards. Only title 
major title he holds is the Players' Championship Finals. He returns to Minehead, the back end of November. 60, top 64 on the Players' Championship, all the merit. Take the place in the event. Winner to play Mabas Rasma. Mabarowskis. Looking for another treble to really put the pressure on. And gets it. Great dart from Lucky D. And there's the opportunity, and that creeps into Michael Van Gerwen's game too often now for me. The little two dart combinations just doesn't get rid of him. And Lamanowskis. With that 140, gave himself the opportunity. Fulton. Just Michael, above the wire, Fulton. sigh of relief for Michael, but got to finish off and does. See how much that means, and just to stay in front, he recognises how tough a game this is, Michael Van Gerwen. Desperate to win. Simple as that. Absolutely desperate to win, and I just wonder as each tournament passes him by that it that the desperation gets gets more and more and perhaps it becomes more and more difficult we shall see 78 yeah one mini victory he can take was he, he returned to the summit of premier league darts he topped the league phase but was beaten by the eventual champion johnny clayton 45 like i said if he's not world number one and winning all the titles it's not good enough for Michael Van Gerwen. Well, no, you made a good point before. I mean, in, in, in that run of tournaments without a win, there's been a few finals, a few semi-finals, quarter-finals, but in Van Gerwen's book, simply not good enough. That's a failure. Yeah, the standards 60. he set for himself. Yeah, the standards he aims to meet. to Michael Van Gerwen and giving him a chance to break sluggish leg from Labanowskis another good 140 from Labanowskis and this is good though from Van Gerwen 180 followed up by a 140 against the darts 46 after 12 Going to get a shot to break the throw here. 45. Can he chip it away? 46. 56 in the previous leg, Mr. Tops. Just in the 14, but bang in the middle of double 16. There's the first break. Michael Van Gerwen gives himself a bit of breathing space over Lamanowskis. You touched on it earlier about one of the the key elements of Van Gerwen's game, which has possibly caused him trouble over the last year, the, the, those two dark finishes when he needs a you know, 56 or a, a 60 and he's not been winning the legs. Is there anything else that, has, that you've noticed that has been different or dropped off as far as Van Gerwen is concerned? Perhaps not as, for me, not as consistent with the first dark on that treble 20. Yeah, I think that, that's a fair point. And um, let's not discredit other players not around him. Much. There's been a rise in standard, and players are not afraid of Michael Van Gerwen as much now. But yeah, his form has dipped. He'd admit that. Yeah, keep digging in, Michael. He's not one of those players who has a bad run and thinks, oh, I'm going to have a few months off. He keeps turning out. Turning up week in, week out to events, craving that victory. But the longer it goes on without a win, it will cause concern and will cause confidence issues for Michael. Yeah, absolutely. It's difficult to criticise. It's not really a criticism, is it? It's an observation because he's, he's done it and won it several times over. But look at that for pressure. And it's not a criticism because he set the standards. 
almost. Takes the 116, but what a setup from Labanowskis. 24, 3 2, break back. Oh, that's a lovely guide. Yeah, it had to be as well. Right. There is the break back for Darius Labanowskis, all courtesy of that fantastic 165. Little nod, nothing more. He's a cool customer, Labanowski, isn't he? He doesn't give a lot away. Super Pleasure of chatting to him. Before Covid, we had an exhibition together and it's the first time I've really had a good chat with him and he's a real relaxed, nice fella and... dedicated... to playing darts at the highest standard and he's getting there. And he's very much committed himself, hasn't he, to... to the PDC Tour, as you say, reaping the rewards. Closing in on that elite top 32 mm. that's the top 32 he'll then look to the top 16 Nine, North Stewart, I think he's got the game he never really get away with a poor performance here's Labanowski you've got to find something and Michael Van Buren trying to find it here but Look at that, Stu. Michael Van Goo hits a 180 in the leg. He's on 281. He started the leg with 90. 40. Yeah, it's a good point you made. I mean, it's not that, that, that other players have worked him out. It's just 140. that other players are not frightened of playing him anymore. Seventy-three. Both thrown 12 darts. Labanowski is now at 73, but under pressure because Michael is on 46. Big dart incoming. And big and finish from Labanowski. He levels back at three apiece. It's a good response from Labanowski, who was broken comfortably, really, in the fourth leg. But levels up at three all, and as we expected, a close encounter. Van Gerwen has been given a real run for his money. But look at that, only one leg won so far in 15 darts or less. 60. Fifty-nine. There's the averages. Michael Van Gerwen. First nine and the average overall, pretty similar. Lewandowski's behind, but has responded well from 3-1. So there's a couple of legs. 140. Beginning the match. 7-140s now for uh, Labanowskis. 81. Identical in the finishing as well. It was a tie of the round, Stu, and so far is living up to it. That's Rasmer awaits the winner. He caused an upset earlier on, beating Nathan Aspinall. Gritty performance from the Latvian, who had a lot of setbacks in that game, but managed to regroup and get the job done. It was a good performance. Maybe more than a challenge for whoever comes through this one. That's a little slip. Disappointed with himself there, Lavanauskas. 14, I believe 164. That's okay. To leave a ton. Can we find two trebles? 60. Michael, you're going 100. Van Gerwen. He's back in front. Lost, lost the last two legs. Yes. Take, takes out the 100. To move back in front. And you've not been winning like Michael Van Gerwen has. When I say winning, winning tournaments. These are the key moments in matches. You won't want us to go to a last leg decider, Stu. Make a throw here. More than ideal, but Lavanowski's regrouped well. 
after a flyer into the five. Well, that Gerwin averaging around 96, Lavanowskis around 87, 88, but it, it feels a lot closer than that. And it is a lot closer than that. Averages are merely a guide. 78. Seven legs played, and we're on throw. A break apiece. And you hang around like Labanowskis has. He'll fancy himself to get an opportunity to break again. Oh, and brilliant darts again. And another 140 for Labanowskis. That last leg Very decider you mentioned. How's that feeling, doesn't it? Yet to have one tonight. A couple of ten leggers opening no, match of the night. Engstrom and Vandenberg, 6 4 Vandenberg. Rasmer, defeating Aspinall 6 4. Oh, and fires in a 180, but possibly too little too late in this leg. Oh, that's superb. And your opponent hits the maximum to pile the pressure on and you step up cool as you like. Excellent from Labanowskis. Back to four all. I through this this run of Van Gerwen's as well, there's been a lot of times where he's actually played quite well. 78. Yeah. And lost. Well, we said earlier that the, the Peter Wright performance in the match play in the semi-final, 27 legs of that, 110 average. 98. He's played OK, Michael, but we all do, and he will judge himself on tournament wins. Everyone does. Got to get the job done here. I'm probably looking in this event, Stu, even though he's not scared to play anyone. He wouldn't have liked this draw, would he? Labanowski is an awkward customer. 98. Decent finishing statistics for both. And yet another 140 for Labanowskis. Pressure on Van Gerwen. But he responds! See that last time, Mentum is a big visit that from Michael. Labanowskis. Feel 140 again, minimum. It may even be more. It's a great first start. Oh, 3140s in succession. Michael Van Gerwen at the 84. Knowing that Labanowskis is within striking distance. Big dart. And he just 72. doesn't give it enough. Darius Uruguay. Chance for the break. What an opportunity for Darius Labanowskis. Two darts to go clear again for Van Gerwen. Oh, missed the treble. Be a relieved Michael Van Gerwen. 50. He'll try Michael and forge ahead once more. He's on a drift inside here. That's why awkward down the bottom of the board, and this has been a mess from Michael Van Gerwen. The doubles have cost him here in this leg. Labanowskis to go one away, and he pins it. Break a throw for Darius Labanowskis, and the world number three is in bother. Labanowskis will now throw for the match, and a second consecutive defeat against the Dutchman Michael Van Gerwen. Plenty for Van Gerwen to ponder here now. Well, he's had 3 1. But those missed doubles is the point that we go back to that you made earlier on in the game. Five darts. Five darts he had to win that leg. Labanowskis needed just the one. But a glimmer of hope, only 45 from Labanowskis to start this leg. Van Gerwen hits back. 2% on the double of Labanowskis, but he kind of undid his good work there. 45 to start, and that's Michael Van Gerwen off the hook, but he looked a little bit nervous on that double six. And you 
kind of talk yourself into I've done it in the past when you're on like oh, a double ten, don't go inside, don't go, you talk yourself in when things aren't going right. I'm not comparing my confidence lapses to Michael Van Gogh, but these are the things that do go wrong when you're not as confident as you should be. 60. Now, two brilliant, two treble visits for Van Gerwen. He's back in business. And another oh, fantastic performance, 140. Look at that, nine thrown, 87 left. What a leg this is from Van Gerwen. Hitting back as he tries to stay in the event. World class Ooh, from the three times seven. world champ. On the map, Michael Van Gerwen, but he's responding. And lucky that we'll be back, but back at double six. Caused him all sorts of problems in the previous leg. But it's a, it's a match where we I feel like we pointed out what's going wrong with Michael Van Gerwen, but let's point out what's going right. He's well below par, but averaging almost 98. 93. Michael, you require 12. This is better. That's emphatic. That's a superb strike back. A 13 dart breaker throw from Michael Van Gerwen. Well, it looked like he might be sliding out of the event. It's one leg of darts. Van Gerwen with them, but only 60 to start. Nervy start when Labanowskis threw for the match. Couldn't find a treble. Can Labanowskis final hit his right? Tuck that one right in the corner. 100. Only a 10. Still too close to call. Ah, good oh, switch in for Michael Van Gerwen. Well, showing real fight. Fantastic finale to the opening night of the World Series in Copenhagen. And Van Gerwen was asked to respond, oh, and he has responded. And how? Incredible for Michael Van Gerwen from 5 4 down. This has been some performance when he needed it most as well. His average creeping up above 99. I was getting around the 100 mark and time to finish the job. 95. Well, didn't need it, didn't go for it. Left 32. Is he going to hit back to back 13 darters to dig himself out of a hole? For the last five minutes of Michael Van Gogh have been magical, magnificent. Yeah. When his back was against the wall, he's responded like a champion he is. And we've said he only currently holds one title. But this is what he can do. And Michael Van Gerwen, there we see the raw of emotion. It's relief as well. He's been involved in a battle. We expected it. Labanowski is through for the match in the 10th leg. But Michael Van Gerwen came back at him. And it's Michael Van Gerwen who progresses to the next round.